O sea, eso, si yo fuera divino me hubiera ganado la loca. Pero no, eso se sale. Eso sale eso. Eso es algo que no, no es impredecible. La última, mucha gente piensa o dice que, que el estilo de boxeo cubano es muy defensivo. ¿Tú coincides con eso? ¿O cómo evalúas tu forma de pelear? Ese que dijo eso es un vago, que no sabe nada de boxeo y nunca se ha puesto lugar. Yo te diría que el estilo de boxeo cubano es el mejor que hay. Eso sí te lo puedo asegurar. ¿Y las peleas de mexicanos? ¿Cómo, se, cómo las evalúas? ¿Eh? Las peleas ante mexicanos, ¿cómo las evalúas? ¿Son más no, todas son buenas, son buenas. Son buenas claro. Ellos siempre salen a buscar la pelea y a ganar, por supuesto. Guillermo. Uh, what do you feel about performing on this stage again? You fought here two years ago. Is it important for you to not just win, or is it just about getting the victory? <laughs> Bueno, nosotros somos un equipo grande y, y yo soy boxeador que estoy entre los grandes y tenemos que estar ahí donde están los campeones, ahí donde tenemos que estar nosotros. You know, this is a big card. This is a card that is probably one of the most anticipated of the year. So it's great to be back to go ahead and show everything in the ring. I believe I'm one of the biggest names in boxing, and so this is my time to prove it. You won your fight easily two years here uh, on the undercard of Cotto Canelo, but a lot of people weren't entertained. Why, why do you feel they felt that way? What happened in that fight? Eso pasó hace ciclos. Ya nosotros ganamos como tenemos ganar, ganamos bien. Y cada vez vamos mejorando y vamos haciendo las cosas mejor. He says, like you said, it was a pretty easy victory. I mean, it's always a victory which comes the most. Uh, we don't ever underestimate anyone. It was a good fight, but like that, like it was then. It was a shutout, and now for this fight, expect a good performance. You're still rated in the top 10 pound for pound, but you are getting closer and closer to 40 years old. Do you feel as good now as ever? Bueno, eh, imagínate, esa ladita la ponen, la ponen, la quitan, ponen, aquí quieren, quitan, ponen. Donde, pon, donde me pongan está bien, pero ellos saben dónde es que tienen que ponerla. Dónde, dónde es que me tienen que citar a mí. ¿En qué número? You know, pound for pound, it's always changing. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. Don't really look at that because, to be honest with you, everyone in the boxing community and those that really support boxing, that enjoy the pure sport, Go ahead and know where I'm ranked there. Is it hard to remain sharp for these fights when you haven't got the kind of activity you may have wanted? No, ya nosotros tenemos experiencia en eso. Ya pienso que ya todas esas cosas van cambiando ya y a partir de ahora van a mejorar y vamos a pelear tres veces al año como tenemos que pelear. I have a ton of experience and so uh, ring rust isn't that much of an issue. I believe my skills and everything is put to the test. And this is going to be the fight where I can extremely show off, you know, what I've been training for, what the past few fights have shown, <coughs> why I don't. What do you see happening Saturday night against Moises Flores? The preparation is 100%. Our training camp has gone fully, he feels fully confident, and he's ready to put on a show Saturday. He can't wait. Do you want this to be a launching pad towards bigger fights? And are there any big names that you want more, that you want to fight more? Y no aparece ninguno, con quien, si ustedes son los que tienen que decir con quién yo quiero pelear y ya, lo buscan. A mí me dicen con quién, con cualquiera y yo peleo con cualquiera. For the eight years I've been professional, everyone's asked me the same question, who's next, who's next, let's do bigger things. I believe I'm one of the boxers, you know, of a few out there that want the best opponents, that want to make it happen. And he says the only way we can make it happen is for you guys, like the media, to demand those fights. Like, que, dame uno nombre, que Gomachenko. Como quiera, a mí me sirve cualquiera, ya te di. Ya como dije anteriormente, llevamos ocho años, ¿no? ¿Con quién tú quieres pelear? Con este, con este, no, no aparece. It's been eight years, you want this one, you want that one. He says, yeah, but no one really comes up. Any negotiations, anything that's gone by, nothing gets closed. No one wants to fight him. He wants the big names in the big fights. What's it like when Floyd Mayweather opened his door for him? Did he appreciate that? Floyd te abrió la puerta en el gimnasio, ¿cómo sentía? Bueno, ese un boxeador que uno de los más grandes que hay. A world class fighter, one of the biggest, you know, probably in history. Abrió la puerta en el gimnasio y when he opened his doors to the gym, it was an honor. Muy agradecido y tenemos la puerta abierta. And so, and we always have the doors open for us, Floyd, let him know for whenever he wants to go in and train with him. If those big names step up, can you fight above 122 pounds?
a subir hasta el, a, se vira a 126. Por supuesto que estamos ahí. He says for sure that will be right there 126. Big names, big fights. Well, 126 would be the limit. El límite 126. Cualquier división, ya. Cuando quieres pensar en 126, ahora empiezan a temblar la hora ahí. He says any division, that even when I go up to 126, everyone's going to be shaking and try going up. He's probably going to have to go up again. What does he think of 126? Oscar Valdez, Leo Santa Cruz, those guys. Cualquiera. Cualquiera. Si peleamos con cualquiera, yo soy 126. Anyone. I'm 122 pounds. I've always been at 122, and I'll still beat any 126. Weight's not really a big issue for me. I just want the big names. Calidad, no hace falta tamaño, ni peso. That for really good quality boxing, it's not all about the size, you know. It's more about heart, conditioning, speed, excellence, experience, everything he's gone through. Do any of those guys impress you? Do any of them stand out? Lomachenko, Valdez, Magdaleno, Santa Cruz. Bueno, Lomachenko son de... Eso ninguno, ninguno me impresiona. Que tiene impresionado soy yo ahí. Ninguno me impresiona a mí. No, no, no impress me. Nosotros no vivimos de impresión. Nosotros vivimos del trabajo que hacemos diariamente y los resultados que tenemos. We live every day based on all the results, the good work, and all those people are, you know, they're impressed by me. They're intimidated to get in the ring with me. Guillermo, uh, decía el papá de Leo Santa Cruz que pelear contigo no le convenía a su hijo, pero nunca dijo por qué. ¿Tú crees que tiene miedo, literalmente, de Santa Cruz? No, no tiene miedo, lo que prácticamente no quiere que pelee simplemente y no quiere. Eso no es no obligado tampoco. ¿Te frustra eso? No, ¿por qué? No, no, de ninguna manera. Guillermo, what do you think about the main event, Kovalev against Ward, the rematch? Who are you leaning towards? And why? El oh, the oh, Kovalev Ward. What do you think? Well, those two are two stars. They're going to do a good fight. They're going to fight. And the only thing I can say is that they're going to win the best. The one who best prepared the discipline. Two stars that went out of the first fight. No puedes ir teniendo ni el otro. Los dos son amigos míos y. When you have two superstars like that, especially you know two friends of mine, it's really hard to see. But they're going to put on an excellent show Saturday. So we're going to see who prepares the most. Who do you think won the first fight? 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 When he lifted his hand, he was the champion. He's the champ now. Isn't it possible though that if, if you felt the refs or the not the refs, the judges ever gave you a bad decision? Then? <laughs> that's the that's the business. that's a decision you know you gotta live with it so you can't go back on it whatever now here's the real test you gotta really prove now if you really are the champ on your word so we're gonna see a great fight when it comes up we can't wait for it do they impress you? You said you said those little guys, Valdez, Lomachenko, they don't impress you. Are these guys, uh, do they impress El Chacal? Impresan tú, los pesos Lomachenko, los pesos pequeños, entre otra vez. ¿Cómo? Si te empronesan, si te, si tú lo ves, bueno, los Lomachenko. Sí, sí, sí. Si te impresionan. Sí, no, no me impresiona ninguno. Son buenos boxeadores como siempre, como todos. Son buenos boxeadores. Y a pelear. Rigonel's trained with other people. Why does he work so well with Pedro Diaz? He's back with Pedro Diaz. You know, we've always, I've always worked with Pedro throughout my career, even before the amateurs and for the Nonito fight. So the camp we had, the preparation we had, especially even before this fight, well, we're expecting, we had an excellent camp and we're expecting great results Saturday. Miguel, uh, what do you think about Floyd Mayweather? The toughest fight he may have had was with Miguel Cotto, and you were in Cotto's corner for that. What do you think of that, and why did that happen? The fight most difficult of Floyd was against Cotto. What do you think happened in the entrenamiento? How did Cotto put that fight? What did you do? Really, they were fighting two great boxers, both Floyd and Cotto. Y simplemente el equipo que trabajó con Cotto hizo un buen trabajo en cuanto a la condición de Cotto para esa pelea. There was two great boxers that were facing off. And when you have two great boxers like that, you did a great training camp. Those are the results you get when you work hard. What does he think of Miguel Cotto's um, his training regimen, his abilities, and at this point of his career, his decision to come back and fight again? What does he think about that? ¿Qué tú crees de la habilidad de Cotto en este momento de su carrera que decidió regresar al ring ahora en esta etapa de su carrera? Ah, yo pienso que eh, mi, 
Miguel está con, con Freddy Roll, considerado el mejor entrenador del mundo. Eh, tiene un gran equipo de trabajo. Miguel es, un, es, es una gran persona y es un, un gran guerrero. Pienso que está en su mejor, mejor lugar. He's training with Freddy Roach now, which I consider is one of the greatest trainers in the world. And uh, he's ready. He's in the prime of his career. And he's ready to go. I think it's a good thing. How do, you feel, how do you feel about your fighter, Guillermo, rigging down right now, heading into Saturday night? How good is he looking in camp? How do you feel about your fighter, Guillermo, rigging down right now, heading into Saturday night? How good is he looking in camp? How do you feel about your fighter, Guillermo, rigging down right now, heading into Saturday night? How good is he looking in camp? Todos los boxeadores mexicanos siempre van a dar un gran show, son grandes guerreros, pero Rigo tiene una, una gran preparación y va a dar un gran show en el sábado. Mexicans, Mexicans always bring it to the ring. They're great fighters, they're warriors. It's going to be really exciting. But uh, Rigo has a great, great preparation throughout his training camp. So we're coming very prepared and we're ready for a great battle.